Compass has reached a settlement for $57.5 million on the commission suit. So let's, um, or lawsuits is a uh, plural. <laughs> let's, uh, let's check this out. So this article is courtesy of Inman.com. Check them out. Compass to pay $5.75 million to settle commission suits. So as we know, this is Friday has become a very interesting, <laughs> uh, here in real estate, Fridays have become pretty interesting. Let's put it that way, because this is one week removed from when NAR, NAR made its announcement. So let's check this out. One week after the National Association of Realtors settlement was announced, Compass has now also agreed to settle in its commission lawsuits for $57.5 million per a recent filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, I did not see Compass being the next one up. I knew that at some point they needed to happen, but I, I this week I expected home services. If you had to say, Jaime, where's your, where's your money going on the next brokerage to settle? I would have said home services because of all the pressure that was weighed on them because they were the last ones left in the sister. They are the last ones left in the sister Burnett suit. And um, Compass has kind of come in and, and stolen the thunder here. So let's check this out. Compass is now the fourth major entity to reach a settlement. The settlement follows NAR's whopping four, $418 million settlement, as well as Remax is 55, Anywhere's 83.5, and Keller Williams 70 million. So as far as brokerages are concerned, they're the fourth brokerage. Um, no, is that right? Yeah, it's the fourth brokerage and the fifth entity itself. Oh, they have that wrong. So it's the fifth entity. Um, not the, uh, cause NAR is an entity. Yeah. That's what I thought. So yeah. Cause you had Remax and anywhere before then you have Keller Williams, then you, you have compass. Yeah. So compass is the fifth entity. It's the fourth, um, brokerage in total. The industry has now racked up $684 million in settlements. So let's do a quick math on what, um, Mr. Michael, the attorney lead attorney for that's racking up all of these expenses expenses, these settlements, that law firm and the other law firms uh, doing all of this, it, they're going to take home at least $273 million from the judgment so far. And it's going to, it's going to go beyond that. All right. So what's something important to note here is, is about two points that I really want to make here is the compass settlement covers the UMPA versus NAR and and Gibson and NAR cases. Other defendants in these suits include EXP Realty. Anyway, so the others, they're going to they're gonna start coming around. But this particular case, uh, remember everybody else, the five entities in that other um, suit was Sitzer Burnett. So this one, as more and more people start settling, as long as it's not um, home services, you're going to see the references of the Gibson case. You're going to see the references of UMPA and that's in and the in this particular suits because they're the one compass was not named in the sitzer burnett so they have nothing to settle there but here whatever major broke whatever major um uh lawsuit they were named in well they're trying to squash that particular suit but also the copycat suits because remember the attorneys that brought on suits brought on the lawsuit in the sitzer burnett issue uh, case they are also bringing that in the gibson case as an example because they just copied and pasted <laughs> seeing um seeing as how they won the judgment that very much the same day they filed suit on the rest of the brokerages that are named here so all of these other all of these other entities are going to settle there's no way around it so here's here's their path to the new normal if the remaining brokerages that have not yet settled do not reach their own deals so just in, when they say own deals independent of NAR, they may join NAR settlement by paving into the settlement fund, by paying into the settlement fund through a formula based on their sales volume. So that formula, I believe, is 0 0.0025 or something to that effect. Um, something to that effect. I believe it came down to if you had $2 billion in sales, it would be like $5 million. I forget exactly because we covered it in the previous video. But there is a formula that you, there's a path. So if you recall, when NAR made its settlement and we made that video, NAR, of course, took care of themselves and took care of the agents that were part of NAR with the exception of Home Services of America and also large plaintiffs, aka these plaintiffs, the compasses of the world, the Redfins of the world, the EXPs of the world, the reels of the world. They did not include those. Why? Well, you see exactly why right now. The $57.5 million, that's a blank check that they had to check, uh, that they had to cash now, meaning 
the attorneys that brought suit in this particular case. So that's why they're not included. So that's why you're going to see more and more of these settlements happen. All right, so bah, 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 that's not important to us. All right, so what actually changes? Compass has agreed to make some business practice changes as part of the settlement, including reminding brokerages and agents that there is no rule requiring agents to make or accept compensation offers and requiring brokers and agents to disclose to clients that commissions are not set by law. So it's not necessarily anything new than um, even prior to the, to the suit because that was not a thing, but especially now with all of these settlements, it's made it's being made abundantly clear that this is the case the the company also said its own brokerages and agents would be prohibited from claiming buyer agent services are free that is still till this day to this day agents are saying that and brokerages and agents would be required to include the listing agents compensation offer for prospective buyer agents as soon as possible so not too dissimilar from what we've been hearing already. Brokerages and agents would be prohibited from sorting listings by offer compensation. So it's something that is not going to be an issue once the um, once the uh, offer of compensation is removed from the multiple listing services. Now they go on to get a statement from the CEO Robert uh, Refkin, and the important statement here is right here, the second one. The settlement payment and other agreements resolve all nationwide claims home sellers made important home sellers. The home buyer side is another animal. Hopefully it doesn't become it doesn't it doesn't come to fruition, but we're only talking home sellers here. Made against Compass. Um, and do and we do not expect this to have any impact in our ability to serve you. By settling Compass is not saying that we did not we did anything wrong the reason we have chosen the settle is we can minimize distractions and focus on serving you and your clients so as a reminder this is one of the actually we just made this video yesterday with um with the president of nar one of the reasons is because of the ongoing litigation gets very expensive and all of the other entities that nar and their settlement was seeking to protect their the mls's that they own the um well, yeah, basically the MLSs that they own and their own pocketbooks, it um, it just didn't make sense to continue fighting. Now, it goes on to express uh, share the sales volume that Compass has. So this gives you an idea of the checks that we're expecting. So Compass is a very, by volume and by transactions, it's, um, it's significant. So if you look here and see what they did, the firm closed $184 billion in sales volume in 2023, retained this number one ranking by sales volume. So if they settled for 57.5 uh 57.5 million dollars, look at the other brokerages that are still left on the board. Look at the other brokerages that have yet to settle. So EXP, they're gonna be good for 50. Redfin, they're gonna be good for 40. Weikert, they're gonna be good for 30. I mean, there's there's just so many checks that are about to get cut. And it's just going to continue to continue to happen. So we'll keep you updated. This is just came down. Want to make sure that we covered it. And I'll see you on the next one. But let's let's play a game real quick. Even I know it's not. I know it's a serious matter. But at this point, what else could we do? Let me know what brokerage do you think is going to be next. I just made this comment on my on my social media. Um, getting a few guesses that are very valid. A lot of folks think that it's going to be exp that's next some folks are are thinking um who was it weikert and uh redfin so yeah uh there's some good guesses out there so let me know i still have my money on home services of america i'm still pulling for home services to to pull one out i i gave them this week to settle let's see if they do it